Mountaineer men's soccer head coach Dan Stratford was hired last January. He had to wait a full calendar year and then some to lead his alma mater on the pitch for the first time. West Virginia playing game number one at Charlotte. They wasted no time. Fourth minute, Jesus De Vicente. Perfect cross to fellow freshman Ciro Berlow. Yegi, back in the net it goes. It's 1-0. 31st minute, redshirt freshman Bjorn Thiessen will get in the box, and this will draw a whistle right here. Check it out on the foul. So um, he goes to the PK line, and Thiessen will tee it in. Welcome to West Virginia, Rook. The Mountaineers lead 2-0. Definitely a great way to start the Stratford era. Five minutes later, blue team on the attack once again. Morgantown's Elijah Borneo, an absolute laser up ahead to Tony Pineda for the score. Three shots, three goals in the first half alone. West Virginia goes on to win 3-0 and pick up the first dub of the Stratford era. To the diamond, here's the story of today's Mountaineer baseball game against Kennesaw State in stop motion flicks. Jackson Wolf, great on the mound, seven innings pitched, four hits, no runs, four strikeouts for his first win of 2021. It was also Dinger Day in Myrtle Beach. Third inning, first baseman Matt McCormick went yard on a solo shot. In the fifth, outfielder Victor Scott, a two run homer to right center. And in the seventh, super senior Kevin Brophy, homer to right, and uh, he made a phone call too. All the picks add up to a 13-3 Viking helmet victory for West Virginia. The Mountaineers meet Coastal Carolina tomorrow at 3. 10th ranked West Virginia men's basketball begins its four game season ending homestand tomorrow against 7 and 18 Kansas State. The Cats better than their record shows. They won two straight games, most recently upsetting number seven Oklahoma by five on Tuesday. The Sooners swept the season series over the Mountaineers. The West Virginia definitely not expecting a cat cakewalk tomorrow. I uh, can't overlook any team. Uh, we've, I think we've kind of done that uh, a few times this season. Um, but especially in the Big 12 in this league, uh, anybody can beat anybody on any, any given night. Um, so we're definitely focused on Kansas State right now. It's been a season of stops and starts in the Mountain East Conference. This afternoon, Glenville State playing in its first game back from its 18-day COVID pause. Fairmont State, its fifth contest in nine days after a stoppage of their own. So with the fresh legs of John Williams or the game experience of Tim Koenig and co prevail, advantage Maroon early in the first half. Seth Youngkin plays bully ball. He has the black eye to prove it. He had 16 points and 11 rebounds. Fairmont's on top three. Still in the first, no lead is safe against Jay Will, who has the most points at any level of college basketball this season with 52. 50 finish there and then the left side triple falls. Pioneers are within three. Seven to go in the first. Zion Dobbs' first collegiate game in the Waco Center. He buries one from the corner and ticks later Isaiah Sanders' dime to Bonner. Mont on top by seven. GSC didn't let that margin grow anymore. Gus Eddy, the rainbow. A few possessions later, Jay Will actually impressed himself with this take. Check him out. With a flex, he had a game high 31 points and knocks the game at 44 at the half. Second half now, it was raining triples in the Waco Center. Tommy Williams, then Nick Edwards, and then Hegel Augustine go bang, bang, bang. Pioneers knocked down 18 threes in all and led by nine midway through the second half. However, they cooled off and Fairmont took advantage. Sanders hit multiple key buckets down the stretch. His 28-point day, Fairmont comes back to down the Pioneers 100 to 89. And while we have the time, special happy birthday shout out to my mom and special happy birthday shout out to our director, Chad. His is this weekend. That's the latest in sports. Ian, back to you.